Hello, 7th grade Bobcats. Mr. Flato here. Welcome back to another week, the last week of school before spring break. So let's finish strong here this last week of third quarter. Got a question for you. You ever feel like somebody just comes and takes something out on you unnecessarily? Or maybe conversely, do you ever have a bad day and take something out on somebody else only to have your emotions kind of subside and realize, hey, maybe they didn't deserve that? If so, this Bob lesson is for you. This is a Bob lesson I did with uh, Mr. Zapata last year called Projection and um, wanted to talk about a phenomenon that happens a lot and mainly for two main reasons. So we don't do it to other people and so when it's done to us, um, we can depersonalize and realize maybe that's not meant for us. All right, let's get rock and roll on this Bob lesson. Hope you guys make it a great week. All right, this week's Bob lesson is titled Projection. But first, let's be our best this week at HMS. Let's be Bob. Let's be safe. Let's be responsible. Let's be respectful. And let's be a learner. Hello, 7th and 8th grade Bobcats. As promised, I have a special guest with me here this morning. Uh, Profe, hola, mi amigo. Hola, señor. Gracias por bien. Uh, ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Uh, bien, yeah. Spring break. Almost Spring over, break. though. It's no, true. we're good. So uh, we're here today. We were hanging out over spring break talking about you guys, talking about students. Um, I think we were talking about how difficult it is to be a middle school student sometimes. Um, we've been there. We successfully made it through. I made it through HMS. You made it through? Uh, Elder Grove and Billings. Elder Grove and then Billings West. Billings West. Helena High School. Um, made it through college. And we're adults now. And one of the things we've noticed as adults is there are still a lot of disrespectful people out there. It's not just a middle school thing, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. High school thing. Everywhere you go, you're going to come across adults that can be kind of disrespectful sometimes and we were talking about how my next Bob lesson is on projection and we thought let's team up and make a little little video on it yep so that is precisely what we're about to do hope you guys like it all right so uh profe here senor Zapeta is here to help me demonstrate um, so what projection looks like. So this is what I'm going to do. I have written down here in sticky notes. You guys can't see it. I have 12 common negative emotions that we feel when things aren't going so hot. So I have um, jealousy, sadness, anger, um, loneliness, frustration, depression, annoyance, hopelessness, inadequacy, uh, criticism, criticized, hurt, and fatigued. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask to you, I'm going to, I want you to think about a situation in the last couple of weeks where you were having a bad day, things weren't going super good in your life, and you don't need to tell us the situation because that might be personal, personal, but I want you to think about maybe some of these feelings that you were feeling at that time. And when you pick them up, I want you to take them, I want you to just name them. And you have a soccer ball here that you can be found playing without yep. an eighth grade recess a lot. Um, I want you to just take those feelings and put them on their soccer ball. Okay, so I'm going to grab inadequate. Inadequate is not feeling like you're good enough, for, for those of you that may not know what that is. Annoyance. Annoyance. A lot of times do you think we get annoyed with other people? Or maybe just situations sometimes. I think mostly other people, though. Definitely. And... Anger. Anger, which is another emotion that a lot of us feel. So a lot of times what happens is we start feeling these things. And let's pretend this soccer ball is attached to you. Maybe it is just, boom, it's on there. Maybe sometimes you hear people say they got a chip on their shoulder and that's what it is. It's just sitting there a lot of times. And different times in life, we all have these things that, these negative emotions that are sitting on us. And it's for us to process and for us to work through. So how do we get this and we get these sticky notes back where they belong and we get this ball off of us? Well, I know some self-coping um, self, um, some self or some self-care things that work for me. Um, going to the gym every day, um, listening to music. I know you're a big, you want to tell them what your favorite things are to do? I do a lot of running, biking, uh, a lot of outdoor activities, lots of stuff that gets me sweating and... Uh, getting my heart rate up, so just a lot of active stuff. Being active, um, not to mention talking, talking with friends, talking with people that you trust. These are natural, healthy ways that we work through some of this stuff, and we process it responsibly on our own. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people in life, they don't do that. They take the easy way out, and what they end up doing is 
they take this and they throw this soccer ball and they put it onto somebody else. Okay. And what that looks like is maybe you telling me off, maybe you disrespecting me, maybe you taking these negative emotions as anger and you putting it onto me. And now I may have been having a great day, um, enjoying my Friday here on spring break. Um, got Pritz in the background down there with me. She's holding things down. Um, and now I feel like crumb. Now I'm feeling the anger, annoyance, the inadequacy, or maybe I'm feeling one of these other emotions and what we call that is projection and so many times in life people take what they're feeling and they don't deal with it appropriately or responsibly and they put it on to somebody else and I want you guys to stop and think about how many times that happens in your life where somebody else you're not even doing anything or maybe you make a slight mistake and one of your friends just unloads on you or somebody that's a peer that's a classmate um, that's an adult just unloads on you and now all of a sudden you go from feeling great to feeling like this, and now that you've gotten that off your chest, you probably feel better, right? Mm -hmm. And right. that is projection in a nutshell. All right, so the third part of this is how do we protect ourselves against other people projecting onto us? The first thing we got to understand is we can't personalize things. We can't take things personal. If somebody's walking down the hallway and somebody calls you a name or does something, you have to recognize in your mind that, whoa, this is like out of character for this person or uh, whatever I did didn't warrant this. And then your mind's got to go to a place where you recognize they must be having a bad day. They're trying to project their stuff onto me. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, Profe here, he's having a bad day. He's got these negative emotions going on. He tries to throw them onto me by saying something disrespecting me. Go ahead, Profe. And I'm not going to take it. Okay, He can try it again if he wants. He can try again. I'm not going to take it. Okay, what does that look like? That looks like somebody disrespecting me, saying something disrespectful to me, and me not doing those three things I talked about in a Bob lesson about two months ago. You notice I didn't get angry. I didn't show negative emotions. I didn't get defensive, and I'm not here talking about it. Matter of fact, when he tried to throw that and put that on me, I didn't even flinch. Therefore, all of this negative emotion, this projection that he tried to put on me, stays right there with him. Anything to add before we go on projection or not letting other people put their stuff on you in, in life? I know I kind of put you on the spot. I think it can probably take practice for some people, mm -hmm. but just realizing that it's happening can help you uh, be aware of it and not, like he's saying, not take it personally and just let it slide, let it go past you, realize that it's not maybe what that person is like all the time, and maybe it's just, just a day that they're having. Awesome. Well, Bobcats, uh, again, gracias, mi amigo. Thank you for being here. Um, hope you guys like this Bob lesson. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the end of spring break. Uh, we're going to go outside and play some soccer now, and then hit the trails. Woo! All right, that brings us to this week's Jelly Bean Question of the Week winners, who are Lila Ackerman, Alex Bullock, Jerrica Higas. Raiden and Annalise Haskins. I was in Miss McMahon's class when they were watching this last week. I think everybody was overthinking it. It was second place. Kind of tricky. All right, this week's Jelly Bean Question of the Week is which number is missing out of this sequential order of numbers? If you think you know, submit your answer to the Bob Box no later than Friday. All right, Bobcats, let's go out and make it a great week. The last week before spring break at the Helena Middle School.